Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. When I first started this channel, what I had in mind is the intention to expand my business. And I would like to use this platform, this uh, YouTube on social media, in order to promote my products, my fresh. Those of you who have been with me in the beginning will know that we have started with a very little fish boxes. And these fish boxes are just made of wood. We are beginning to breed and then we share our knowledge and expertise about breeding. And then we expanded our properties. We also had expanded our farm. And in the farm, we were able to produce hundreds or if not thousands of these chickens. And then it was followed by the production of our rabbits. And then we also have tried Hito farming. Actually, the Hito farming is now very successful as well. And then we tried to also engage in the Rhode Island chicks production. All these things are doing good for us because we have done so much business out of these uh, animals and even these fowls. And just recently, we were able to also engage in African lovebirds uh, farming. And it was followed by the parakeets. And then we already have now this uh, cockatiels. And in the future, my dream is to have Indian ringnecks, this uh, Macau, and other expensive birds that we can raise right here. And you will see right here also that we have developed a property. And this property in the future would be turned into a restaurant or maybe a place where people can just drop by and eat our delicacies. And I'm looking at the lettuce and also the quail, the native chickens, and we are slowly accomplishing it because if you can recall this property is a swampy area we bought some filling materials we made a lot of effort to really uh, make this uh, habitable and you will see now that this place is already good we have this uh, gazebo and in the future we will turn this one into a restaurant and one of the things also that i have in mind is to make my own recipes out of the animals and even the, the quails and the chickens that we have grown in the farm. And this is my dream to be able to invite people to come and join and appreciate, you know, the delicacies that I can prepare for them. And today I'm so happy because I was able to discover another delicacy out of the quail. Well, this quail farming had been doing well for us because we have just started 39 breeders and now we have produced close to 1,000 breeders. And I'm so happy because the male quails are very delicious to eat, meaning that the meat of these male quails, which is no longer needed in the breeding, are very delicious to eat. And this is the thing that I would like to share with you now. But before that, let me just give you an update about the cockatiels that we have released in the big cage and you will see that they are there.
and you guys can see that our cockatiels have adjusted so well and they are now just uh, feeling relaxed and I can see on their faces that they're happy and I'm happy as well because you know uh, as a pet lover you will always look at the welfare of the birds or even the animals that you're taking care about and you will also see right here that we already have again produced plenty of this azola and this azola had been a tremendous help for the feeding of our animals and they are now very easy to propagate because I have revealed to you the secrets we are actually using the water from the tank where it contains so much of this ammonia that can grow the plants and even this water ferns I'm so happy with this and I will uh, get some because I will feed our catfish I will get some of this actually we are mixing this with the commercial pellet of the catfish and it gives us a very good result and this catfish are very safe and clean to eat because they are eating organic food like this asola so you will witness this one how we gonna feed this actually we are now experiencing power interruption but the catfish has no problem about the power interruption because we are not even using this uh, aerator or air pump and uh, this stagnant water is best for the catfish but from time to time we are of course um, getting half of the water and then we will put some new water in order to make the water fresh and clean for our catfish and you look at this one how they gonna like this asola mixed with of course the commercial pellet come on see they are eating this one and they like to eat this recipe the good news that I would like to share with you about raising this catfish is this catfish is delicious when we're going to make them adobo or we will deep fry this catfish or with curry powder it's very delicious and even coconut milk we can also mix that to be able to have a good dish out of the catfish and I'm so happy for this because we are now massively producing the catfish and maybe in the future videos we're gonna be sharing you once more on how to breed this one we have so many videos effective and very honest video about breeding of this catfish and we have been so faithful to you in sharing our secrets about breeding this catfish there is no secret actually here in Dexter's world that's why many people have learned to follow our videos and uh, we will also make some updates about the quails because yesterday we were able to increase the number of eggs that we got from the breeding cage and I'm so happy about this and this is one of the future business that I'm thinking about selling the catfish selling the quail eggs and even the, the quail meat and then the duck meats of course the duck eggs and then the eggs of this uh, native chickens the chicks the meats of these chickens the lettuce salad and even this you look at this this is one of the accomplishments that we have actually done in the past month of february we were able to grow this uh, water spinach very successfully and i did not intentionally harvest this one because i wanted you to see the actual harvest of this <laughs> actually this will be now included as part of my lunch today yes this water spinach i will get some and then i will make this as our salad and we will do a mukbang <laughs> well last night i enjoyed eating my honey glazed quail very delicious and today my lunch will be another recipe for the quail again and guys allow me to also make an update about the geese well they are actually here they're settled but we still have to make a small lipa hut right here and we together with our turkeys so our assignment for next week is we're gonna be building a, a house for our geese and turkeys right here 
we have made further enclosures right there for our turkeys and I hope that we can build a a house for this uh, very lovely animal and uh, I'm set also to have a, a cage over here of our peacock and maybe we can bring in here the most the biggest animal in the farm the the ostrich Gino I just want to encourage you about the farming of quail because this has been my business even before I started vlogging on YouTube by the way we can only use the quail the female or the hen for 12 months after 12 months we can start culling them because they are no longer very effective in giving us eggs and the next problem would be how to dispose them the culled hens of this quail well before that was a problem because uh, I did not realize that this can be a good source of meat for human consumption and I have tried just uh, very recently about cooking quails and it gives us good meat it gives us good uh, viand that is why I don't anymore have this problem on how to dispose the culled hands of this quail because they can be produced as our food as our viand and in fact just uh, yesterday we were able to you know dress some uh, 15 heads of this male quails they are no longer needed because they are overpopulated here and in my previous videos I said that the ratio between the hen and the cock would be 1 is to 10 this ratio gives us a good result because if we will overpopulate the breeding cage with the cocks then trouble will really happen because they will keep on breeding relentlessly the hens it will be disturbed so we will dress all the males and we will make them as viand and today you're gonna witness how we're gonna do this So we have here now our food and you will see that this is a fried quail with honey glazed uh, lemon and then we have this fried kangkong we have the duck eggs from the farm and we have some apples and of course the lettuce and we have the juice and uh, I would like to say thank you for all the staffs especially my wife who prepared this one I am so thankful because all this food, majority of this food, were just taken out from the, the garden. We have the duck eggs, we have this uh, kangkong, water spinach, the lettuce of course, and the quail. So I am really very eager now to eat and uh, I, prom I am promoting healthy lifestyle. This is the healthy food that we can eat out of the garden. I believe in the saying that you are what you eat. So if we will eat healthy foods, then we will become healthy as well. So we will pray first and then we will eat and join with me guys. Uh, Lord, we thank you for this food. Bless and sanctify as we partake in your name. Amen. So we will start. 
So I will eat first the quail. This is delicious. See? Very crunchy. Let's taste this one. Mmm. It tastes good. Really. Water spinach salad. Wow. See? Mmm. Very fresh from the farm. That's it. Mmm. Mmm. Super yummy. And the lettuce. Mm, lettuce from the greenhouse. Mm. This is a pure fried quail. Wow. Mmm. You have the apple. Very delicious. Mmm. So crunchy. The skin of the quail. Mmm. Apple. Salad. Mmm. You look at this guys, I am almost done. It's very delicious. So two quails, all male quails, the cocks were fried and it gives us now good viand. Mm. And I can say that it's more delicious than chicken and it's more healthy than chicken. Mm. And this is the recipe that I am thinking for in the future, Dexter's World Restaurant maybe. I hope we can do that. Where we eat delicious delicacies like the native catfish, this uh, salad, and we have native chickens, we have this rabbit, and we also have this uh, um, maybe different, uh, this different recipes of the Rhode Island red chickens. It's gonna be exciting. See? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 So very delicious lunch. I'm so happy with this. And in the future, we're gonna be featuring you about the Dexter's World restaurant. And um, I hope guys that you can drop by if you are just here around. You can drop by and uh, have a taste of our delicacies. It's a perfect lunch. <clears throat> I thank God for the blessings and I'd like to thank you all for always there for me. You're following always our videos. And I would like to make a shout out to those ones who have joined in this channel, who became a member of this channel. Thanks a lot for your support. And of course, our subscribers and our followers. Thanks a lot for always waiting for our uploads. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now only here at Dexter's World!